This program is brought to you by realestate.com.au. With more homes for sale than anywhere else, realestate.com.au is Australia's number one address in property. It is great to have your company here on Business Now on this Monday. So let's go to the weekend auction markets. Across the country, we can tell you that there were 2,015 auctions. That's around 300 more than the week before. And the clearance rate here was a really healthy 16, 65.5%. You can see it there. In Sydney, it was really strong. 862 auctions. That's 230 more than the previous week. 63% of those were sold. Melbourne is also hotting up. Have a look at these 777 auctions. That's up by about 130 week on week. Strong clearance rate here, around 71%. In Brisbane, 76 auctions. The clearance rate there, 60.5%. In Adelaide, 58 auctions. It's the best clearance rate in the country, 82.8%. Canberra had 56 auctions and just over 71% of those were sold. And in WA, no auctions really to speak of, but 599 private sales. So let's bring in here the senior economist at REA Group, Eleanor Cray, who's always with us on a Monday. Okay. Eleanor, thanks for being with us. Um, I mean, again, that just shows how, oh, shall I say, how strong these markets are yeah. and the expectation of rate cuts. Yeah, exactly right. I think that's probably that positive tailwind there kicking into play. It's certainly been a busy closeout to summer. We know the auction volumes um, in 2024 so far are consistently higher than they were this same time last year. But despite that uptick in choice for buyers, we're still seeing that auction clearance rates are pretty robust. They're sitting pretty solid. So again, speaking to that strong housing demand environment, uh, whereby I think people are looking to rate cuts at the end of the year. Yeah, OK, so there's a few categories of buyers those people who have got a fear of missing out, those people who are flipping houses, and then there are those people who are investing. Now, those people who are investing, let's concentrate on them for a moment, they're looking for yield. And the thing in their favour is potentially interest rates are coming down, but the actual rental yield, the rents are going up. That's almost the perfect recipe if you're a property investor. Uh, yeah, I mean, and we are seeing that activity from um, investors is increasing. So we saw a, a pretty large uptick in inquiry from those identifying as investors on realestate.com.au towards the end of last year. We've also seen in the new lending data um, that investors are increasingly active in the market. And as you say, it makes sense. We know that the rental market is incredibly tight. Uh, available rentals are really in short supply with uh, national rental vacancy rates sitting at just 1.09%. Rental prices so put that in historical increase. perspective for me, 1.09%. Put that in perspective as to where it's been in the past. A very close to record lows here. So just a few percentage points up off record lows that were hit last year. So very tight rental market. So again, go back to those investors. Perfect combination. Because when interest rates fall, values tend to rise commensurate with the fall. But if you've also got rents rising, which you do, and you've got enormous competition to get into these rental properties, then that, again, is only going to accelerate the prices of those properties, making this situation potentially even worse for housing affordability. Yeah, exactly right. And I guess that's kind of the, the flip side of, of the coin, right? Um, but certainly investors more active in the market is good news, so to speak, for the rental market, as we know that... Um, uh, predominantly Australia's long-term pool of rentals is supplied by private investors. OK, so just go to this chart right now that we can see here, and that is the number of rooms available and people searching for a share house. So, say, for example, in the case of Tamarama, are you saying that there's one property there up for rent and 344 people want to actually get into that house? Yeah, so this is data from, from flatmates.com.au, so the share accommodation platform. And flatmates.com.au actually had its record month in January, so the busiest month ever for the share accommodation market, and that's exactly right. That seeker-to-listing ratio in Tamarama, 344 room seekers and just one available listing. So wow. This tightness in rental markets is flowing through into the share accommodation market, many being pushed into the share accommodation market by default of the fact that rental prices have increased so much, cost of living pressures, rental affordability has severely deteriorated, so people looking to... to share accommodation. And this problem is not going away anytime soon. Eleanor Cray, always good to have you in the program. Many thanks for your time today. Thank you for having me.